Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video of Tech Tips, I'm going to talk about WhatsApp and I'm going to share uh, some of my uh, helpful tips and tricks that I've been using with WhatsApp to make it more effective. I don't know, but I use WhatsApp a lot and um, it's a very convenient tool, but there are some tweaks uh, that you can do. The first thing that uh, I like is regarding privacy. By default, for example, if we just, let's send this message, let's say hi to this device. And uh, just notice this, the tick mark uh, shows, first tick mark means uh, it goes to this WhatsApp server. The second tick mark means that the message has come to this device. And now let's say if this user opens uh, this message, he has read this message. And now on this phone, uh, it should actually uh, change to uh, blue. Uh, but I have uh, changed the settings that's why uh, it's not showing and to do that and this might be useful sometimes let's say you read a message you are very tired in the evening you don't want uh, that to be known you can actually change that for example uh, I have done that on this phone to not show the read receipts to do that you have to just go over here go to the settings and uh, in accounts go to the privacy folder and uh, as you can see the read receipts is unchecked by default it is checked that's why when uh, even this person has read the message it uh, did not change to the blue tick mark so you can do that for example let's enable that and now let's send a message let's say hi and now uh, as you can see uh, the blue tick mark is shown so that way you can do another thing uh, to note is that whatsapp also actually shows you for example, let's just go back. If I go back to WhatsApp, uh, the last time stamp, for example, for Amit Bhavani, it says that he was online uh, last at 11.55. So if you want uh, that others should not know about that, you can also change that setting. Just go to the settings again, go to the accounts and in privacy, as you can see, the status is last seen for everyone. Just uh, you can change it to just your contacts or nobody and now that will not be visible now for example if I go back for this contact and if I just click here it will not show the last online time so you can also use that for privacy another uh, useful setting that I uh, find is and uh, not many people use it but this can be useful for example let's say uh, this is my sister's whatsapp message let's say I want to uh, save this message and reply to it later you can uh, save it as a favorite just hold it on for some time and you get this menu over here just hit it as a star and now this message has been uh, favorited as you can see uh, we have that star icon and if you just go back you can look at all your favorite messages if you just click over here and click the start messages and that way you can actually uh, sort down your messages so that's an interesting thing that i use sometimes also i really like the fact that you can access whatsapp directly on the web uh, and to do that you have to just go to for example let me show you with this device i don't think so i have set this device for that one and you have to go to uh, use this option known as whatsapp web and on your web browser actually i'm using it you have to go to uh, web.whatsapp.com and if i log out let me log out and now if i do that you have to go to that url that is uh, known as web.whatsapp.com and you see this this is the camera and on your screen there'll be a qr code that will be visible just uh, locate that qr code and let it scan and that way it will show all the messages in the web browser and i in fact use that a lot whenever i'm on the computer that's almost most of the time so i really use the web.whatsapp.com website directly to access the messages uh, without uh, using the phone uh, another th thing that I really like is that uh, again not I've noticed that not many people use this is regarding uh, quick contacts for example uh, these are the three contacts that we have uh, let's say you chat a lot with this uh, contact that is Ahmed Bhavani you can just hold this contact like this and use this option as add chat shortcut now what it has done is it will create a app shortcut over here and whenever you just click this it will directly open the conversation for that app so you can do it for multiple accounts for example let's do it for this also so this is a very good way if you frequently chat with let's say a particular uh, person you can just create it like this and directly when you click it it takes you to that conversation so that's a nice option also we can back up uh, uh, 
uh, what do you say your data that is there on uh, uh, Google servers and now WhatsApp has made it really easy just go to settings again and I use this because I frequently move to new phones and I use the cloud backup option and you have to go to chats and you have to go to chat backup and as you can see I'm using the Google Drive just uh, link it to your Google uh, Drive server and automatically every day at two o'clock at the night uh, backup is done on uh, Google Drive and whenever you move to a new phone WhatsApp will automatically detect that uh, uh, backup if you're using the same Google account and just restore your file so this is a really nice way and uh, you can also do it manually if you want if you want to do the backup manually you can always do that Another thing that I frequently use is let, uh, let's say I have a lot of conversation and I want to just uh, have that. You can just click that and use this option of email chat. And if you click that, the entire conversation, you can attach media or whatever will be sent as an email. I also use this sometimes. Another thing is that WhatsApp by default, as you can see, uh, this is a regular WhatsApp. There is no background or whatever. But if you look at this one, I have changed the wallpaper. If you go to any of those uh, chats, as you can see, we have this wallpaper and to use this, you have to just uh, click on uh, any uh, user where you're chatting and you'll find this wallpaper option. And here are the options. And the first time if you click this, it will actually download an app. Uh, you download it. I have already done that. And now if you click on it, it'll show you some wallpapers and you can easily uh, change the same. For example, let's change it to this one dark one. And now it has changed the wallpaper so you can use that another thing let me actually show you is pop-up notifications let's just go back to this device let me just uh, say hi and as you can see i get this notification in this uh, pop-up so you can uh, enable this via pop-up so it's really handy and uh, to enable that again it's really easy let's just uh, go to the let's go back let's go to the settings and in notification uh, down as you can see, this is the option uh, called pop-up notification. And again, there are some options for that. By default, it will be no pop-up. So uh, you can enable it. I have enabled it to only show pop-ups when the screen is on. You can always also show up the pop-ups if you would like. So that's also a handy option in my opinion. Now, another thing that uh, if you use WhatsApp a lot uh, and if you are subscribed to a lot of what do you say groups and stuff, uh, the WhatsApp database size can become really, really huge. And to give you an idea how much storage space uh, WhatsApp is taking in your internal storage to do that, go to the settings and uh, now go to what do you say storage tab again, it will be different, a little bit different the menus based on your Android phone, but the general procedure is the same. Let's uh, go to the storage. And here you go to the storage, scroll all the way down and you have to look at this miscellaneous. I have already just cleaned up. That's why I don't have that much. But if you cl uh, click on the miscellaneous, as you can see, it will show you the entire uh, data uh, that WhatsApp is consuming on the desk. So this is what uh, WhatsApp was using. So this is a very easy way to determine uh, if WhatsApp is using a lot of data. For example, on my dad's uh, phone, uh, <laughs> the WhatsApp data files were as high as six gigabytes. Uh, so you can use that to determine the size. And obviously, if you have the database is very big, uh, you can delete uh, the group messages for example let's say this is a group you can click this and delete the groups and stuff so these were some of my tips and tricks that i use with whatsapp i hope that you found this uh, video helpful again make sure you also check out the other tech uh, tip videos that i have made earlier link for that playlist will be in the youtube show notes again if you're not subscribed to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button thanks for watching this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video